Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we are going to simplify this complex rational expression. So that is quite a description, but uh, anytime you are dealing with fractions within fractions, we call those complex fractions. So you can see here we have a fraction here, a fraction here. But technically, uh, when you have variables in a fraction in algebra, uh, we describe these as rational expressions. So that's why this thing here is a complex rational expression. Uh, but it's important that you already know how to simplify a complex fraction because effectively, that's what we're going to be doing here. Just remember, when you're doing algebra, these variables just represent numbers. So that's why it's so important to be strong uh, in arithmetic. But anyways, if you can figure this problem out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. And then, of course, I'm going to go ahead and simplify this rational expression, i.e., or excuse me, complex rational expression step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the answer here. You see the problem. What is the answer? Well, all of this, when it's said and done, uh, is um, uh, equal to C over K. Okay, so uh, the directions, and I might have been going a little bit quick here, is to simplify this whole complex uh, rational X or complex rational expression, but why would you want to write all this? Or you know, this is like uh, very complex, right? Let's make this as simple as possible. And it turns out this whole thing is just equal to c over k. So that's why it's always important to simplify in mathematics. It's no different than working with fractions. If you have this uh, fraction here, 1,000 over 3,000. Would you want to write that fraction all day? Of course not. Let's just make our life easier and write it in its simplest terms, which would be one third. Effectively, that is what you're doing in algebra. When you hear that uh, uh, directions, simplify this or simplify that, you know, basically you're taking something like this and you're making it as simple as possible. Okay, so in this case, the answer is C over K. All right, so if you got this right, let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and A plus, a 100% and multiple stars so you can tell your family and say, you know what, I was able to simplify a complex rational expression. They'll be so excited to hear this news. They might even take you out to dinner. Who knows? Uh, they'll be very, very happy uh, that you reported that information. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the solution here. And again, you can't do this problem unless you can work with an actual complex uh, fraction uh, using numbers. So anytime you're dealing with rational expressions, again, these are fractions uh, with variables in them, you got to have strong fraction skills. So uh, you can easily just, you know, think about oh, how would I do this problem if these were numbers, K and C, if they were numbers, you could just kind of go through the steps, just make something up to minus five, minus one over two over two minus five, and just think about, okay, what, what would I need to do here to simplify this uh, complex fraction? Because the steps are effectively the same when you're dealing with algebra. But uh, what we need to do first is we're going to go ahead and work on the numerator. Okay, we're going to clean this up uh, because obviously this is a little bit more involved than the denominator. So we have k over k minus c minus 1. So let's go ahead and start to simplify that. All right, so we have k over k minus c minus 1. Now, anytime you want to think of a number uh, in terms of a fraction, let's say you want to think of the number 3 in terms of conceptually as a fraction, like, hey, I don't see a fraction, I just see three. We'll just put it over one, and there you go. This would be the numerator, and that would be the denominator. So it's good to think of um, things in those terms because k over k minus c minus one, let's just put that as one over one. Now, if you haven't seen uh, my videos on how to deal with fractions, okay, there is a particular 
method, I call it the bow tie method of adding and subtracting fractions, it is worth its weight in gold. If you could weigh that method, which, you know, of course, it's a method, you can't really weigh it, but I just like, you know, saying that phrase, it's worth its weight in gold. You need to learn this method. In other words, if I have A over B plus C over D, so instead of thinking about the LCD and everything else like that, I could just simply go like this. Uh, follow this direct pattern here. So D times A, or that would be AD plus B times C, and I'm kind of squeezing it in right there. That would be the numerator over B times D. That's how we would write this. Okay, so this is what I call the bow tie method of adding and or subtracting fractions. You need to know this method because in algebra, um, it just comes in so handy. And I've only been doing this for decades and decades and decades. I'm telling you, you got to know this method. So when I think of my one as uh, a fraction, one over one, I can apply this method. So let's go and do that right now. So before I actually show you how I went from here to here, it's very, very important as well that if we look at this problem, our original problem here, uh, we have these uh, uh, differences, K minus C right here. One thing that a lot of algebra problems don't give you that you're going to want to insert yourself when you see a, a difference or a sum is parentheses. Okay, put those grouping symbols in. They will keep you out of trouble. Okay, this can really cause a lot of confusion for students. So in here, I'm going to go ahead and put my grouping symbols here on this K minus C. Okay, so anytime again you see a sum or difference, put those parentheses, which are grouping symbols, in there. It will help you out. Okay, so now let's go ahead and apply this bow tie method. So that'll be one times k. There's k. Now this is remember this method um, is for adding and subtracting fractions. So I have k minus c times one. Okay, so that's going to be minus k minus c times a positive one is k minus c. And you got to be super careful here because we are dealing with subtraction. We're taking a difference. You got all kinds of negative numbers. So we got to be, this is uh, ripe for areas um, uh, uh, for students to make uh, mistakes. I'm coming down here right now, you know, after grading 100 million uh, different math tests and quizzes, well, maybe not that many, but you get the idea. This is where students start making little errors here. So you got to be super careful. So now we have K minus C times one, which would be K minus C. And we could put some parentheses in right there. Now, one thing that you can't do is be like, oh, here's a K minus C and here's a K minus C. I could just cross cancel these K minus C. That is one of the most common, worst mistakes that you can make. No, you cannot do that. What we need to do now is clean up this numerator. All right, so how do we do that? Well, what we have to do is distribute this negative sign into each. Remember, this is negative. You're like, well, I don't see a number. Well, there's a one there. Okay, negative 1. So negative 1 times k is going to be negative 1k or negative k. And then negative 1 times a negative c is, is a positive c. So you can see here our k's go away. k minus k is 0. So we're left with c over k minus uh, c. Okay. All right. So that is what the numerator uh, simplified to. So now let's take a look at our original problem. All of this is equal to that. Okay, so at this point, we're in good shape to kind of um, pick up the paces because when you're dealing with a complex fraction, what we have here is a numerator being divided by the denominator. In other words, this is being divided by this. So let's go ahead and rewrite this uh, complex fraction using the division operator. So in other words, we're going to say, all right, so C minus uh, C over K minus C divided by K over K minus C. Okay, and that's what this is equivalent to. C over K minus C is being divided by K over K minus C. And again, I don't have these uh, parentheses in here, but you should be putting them in there. And I left them out because if you are doing this problem, a lot of students um, won't put parentheses in. Now, I can work without the parentheses if I chose to because I know what to look out for. But I'm telling you right now, just get in the habit of putting those parentheses in. So now we need to know something about dividing fractions. Okay, so how do you divide fractions? Easy. What we need to do is uh, turn this into a multiplication problem. So we're going to turn this into a multiplication problem by flipping the fraction or the rational expression to the right of the division operator. So this is going to get flipped upside down. So we're going to get K minus C over K 
and look here we are almost done so when we multiply uh, fractions we just simply multiply across and what we want to look at uh, be on the lookout for is cross canceling any like factors okay so you can see here k minus c will cross out with this k minus c one there's uh, 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 like factors one and this factor is in the denominator this one factor is in the numerator remember uh, just no different than working with fractions so one to one we can cross cancel and that just leaves us with c over k and you can see that work right there and there you go there is the final answer okay so how difficult was this problem well i'd say as a math teacher um, in terms of level of difficulty one being super easy 10 being like you know pull your hair out screaming i can't figure this thing out type of uh, level i would say this is maybe like a five so this is not all that difficult but i certainly um, don't want to take away uh, from you know um, those of you out there that were able to do this problem and don't feel bad if you weren't able to do this problem you know i'm not trying to make you feel bad like well it wasn't that difficult of a problem i should have been able to solve it well you know this there is going to be a lot more difficult problems in algebra okay when you're dealing with rational expressions rational equations etc so that's why you have to be super good at all the fundamental skills that support your algebraic skills i.e things like fractions positive negative numbers all these basics they never go away they only follow you like a shadow all right so if you need help with stuff like this um, i'm going to go ahead and suggest that you check out like my algebra one or algebra two course um, those are two uh, great courses uh, that you can, you know, uh, that could help you with this level of mathematics. If you are totally lost on fractions and basic math, I want to check out my math foundation course. Just do a quick refresher and all that good stuff that you learned in elementary and middle school. Okay, so hopefully this video helps you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.